to hold that ball a bit and let it go. So another free kick para si Diliman. Napaka dangerous ito. Ang kanina, it was in the dangerous zone. This is to an entirely different level right now. It's even a more dangerous area. Makahanap ng butas lang. You can see all soccer players forming that wall. Calling that a great wall. Oh. Cheviliana. Inuutusan niya na naman yung mga pader niya. Shot and it great. stopped. Great stop Another again. attempt. And a man who's offside, I believe. Another great stop again from the Sakuru defense. Foiling that free kick. No, it was... It was just deflected so Jay Avellana again lives to fight another possession the referee is coming out it's a warning oh, for, for delay of game and Avellana will send it forward siguro si Jay sabi niya Sandali, papahingin nyo naman ako, sandali lang. Alam mo, nakakapagod yan. Ha? Yung mga continuous plays na ganon. And having to step up and make wonderful saves like that. Plus the heat that we're in right now here in Umac. He needs to take a breather. Malu. Hard tackle. Play on. Play on at playing advantage. Rodriguez, Rodriguez. onside. Rodriguez. Rodriguez. No! Almost! Almost a 2 0 lead para sa Sakaru. It just curved wide right. Beautiful pass. Rodriguez completo with the headband and all. Oh. That was a great shot from Romeo Rodriguez. Just a little wide. If he put oh more foot into that, it might have. Kasi nag curve siya pag nung nag landing sa ano eh. A pitch. If he would have just thrown it straight into the back of the net, that could have been a commanding 2 0 lead for Sakaru. Instead, 1 0 parin. And Diliman. Imagine if that ball went in, it would have been 2 0 again by Romeo Rodriguez. And a great counter attack play. And if, if Romeo Rodriguez would have scored there, hindi ko na alam kung sino yung man of the match natin. If it would oh. be Rodriguez with two goals or Avellana stopping about. 47 different shots already. Well, if that that, ha that that does happen, you know my answer to that. I'm pretty <laughs> biased. Me Medyo biased kasi. Medyo biased ako. <laughs> Keepers unite tayo dito. Eh. <laughs> we'll sail out of bounds. As we near the one hour mark. And Donny Santos para si Diliman. Throw in pa rin para sa Maroons. Diliman trying to find a crease in the defense of Sakaru. Hector Zagi para sa Sakaru. Nakalusot. Binigay kay Rodriguez. Rodriguez oh, through great ball. Through pass. Great pass to Hector Zagi. Zagi. Oh, and that's a foul. Oh, is that a penalty? Are you going to call a penalty? That is a penalty. A Hector Zagi was clotheslined by Apia. It will be a penalty kick para sa Team Sakaru. Wow. Lumipad si Hector Zagi doon. Tignan natin ulit. Tignan mo yung pace ni Hector Zagi. Getting past everyone and Apia just clearing him out of the way. Held him and it's a throwdown. Tignan niyo. Wow. Eh, pinapakita na natin yung smackdown dito sa active. Marang rock bottom ni Darak yung dating nun eh. Kaya ang kaya rin pala. Ni Apia. <laughs> but Zagi is down. And there the, the stretcher comes out. But they now have a penalty. This could be 2-0. Who's going to take it? It looks like it will be Rodriguez to take it. At and Apia given a yellow. Pinasok na si... Uh, linabas na si... Uh, you see Hector Zagi. I see uh, 
Diliman to make a substitution. Papasok ngayon si number 11, that's Francis Liza. Para kay John Edward Rances. Here's the penalty. Rodriguez to take it. My prediction. Keepers oh. left. Keepers left. Tignan natin. Rodriguez. And oh. that's a goal! Keepers, Keepers right. <laughs> Keepers right. Keeper was right. Caballes. Hindi na gumalaw. 2 nil lead para sa Socceroo over Diliman. Who would have expected this? Who would have expected Team Socceroo? Oh, may, may sayo sayo pa ngayon. Oh, yeah. 2 0 lead against Diliman FC. Dalawang goals na para kay uh, Romeo Rodriguez. Diliman players are stunned. Tignan natin ulit yung penalty kick. Just. Oh yeah, catching Caballes flat-footed. That wasn't even a a, a top-class finish, but it was just enough. You could see Caballes. that Caballes was was leaning towards diving to the left, and the change in position just totally left him flat-footed. Oh. So it is a two-nil lead para Sakuru contra sa Diliman. Oh. No one expected this scoreline at the end of the first hour. No one did. We expected Diliman to walk over Sakuru. But again, Sakuru playing the game of their life right now. Superb. From the keeper all the way to the offense. Romeo Rodriguez, Hector Zaghi. With that great run. Sacrificing with that foul. And giving Sakuru a 2-0 lead. Lisa coming in for Rances, so that is a change in the defense. Para sa kuparan ng uh, ng Diliman and Donny Santos sinahabol niya yung bola and Jay Avellana pinigilan niya ulit. What a game for Socceru so far. Pero siempre yung yasin na sabi natin, football is a 90-minute game, maybe even more because of the stoppage time. Even ask Loyola kasi yung mga goals nila parang karamihan puro added time. Eh. Actually, yes, it's still not over. So Sakuru needs to put on the defense because they know very well that Diliman is a very, very dangerous team. And they will try to get those two goals. Hector Zagi nakabalik na sa pitch para sa kanyang kuponan. Will be a free kick for Diliman. Romeo Rodriguez with a brace in this match pinag-usapan natin si Zaidan Tempani tsaka si Hector Zaghi dun sa umpisa ng laro we didn't expect the headband man to to be the reason why Sakuru is up by this much so Romeo Rodriguez indeed the man of the match right now ba? man of the match? not giving it to Jay Abiliana just yet ah. I said right now we <laughs> 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 clarification pa kasi. right now <laughs> Liza has Ariel Zerudo dun sa gitna and it is cleared out by Hideo letting out a battle cry as well Hideo towering over the Diliman players Hideo Muraoka, another one of those uh, Brapanese players of Team Sakuru. I'm sure the ladies watching would want a close up. Oh, naman. Kasi yung on cam natin kanina parang hindi ata sapat dun sa Hector eh, Zagi. Liza in the wing, overlapping cross, header, and Jay Avellana again. And Donny Santos stopped once more by Jay Avellana. You can see there's not much support from Diliman. It was only on Donny Santos inside the box. Had no choice but to result to go for the diving header. And then the cross got into Eliza and Donny had the angle. And if I'm not mistaken, I think Jay Avellana played for uh, La Salle during the UAP, his UAP years. That's right. That's right. He played for La Salle. Saying, <laughs> you know, but he's wearing blue on the outside. <laughs> 
on the outside. <laughs> <laughs> Roy moving it forward. Apia. Hideo Muraoka, Muraoka. Throw in. Oh, great clearance. Another good clearance this time from Hector Zagi. So it does end up a corner kick para sa Team Sakuru. Sakuru right now in the defense cannot. You can't go wrong. Uh -huh. You can't do anything wrong right now. It's just everyone is there, taking the right position. Hey, come on, take him out! Here comes the corner for Diliman. Header ends up behind the net. So it will be a goal kick para Sakuru. Diliman, unting unti nang unao ubos ang kanilang oras. Aviliana. And right now you you would think that Sakaru would want to keep possession. Great through ball. Aviliana coming out again. Great attack from Jay Aviliana coming out. And lunging for that ball. I must say the way he's playing right now, he deserves to be in the first division. Wow, that is a bold statement. I called it. I see the way my teams now. Uh, well, like right now, nomads playing later on today. Maybe they, yeah. they don't have they a, don't have a, a goal, keeper. Right uh, they now. don't have a keeper right now. As Christopher Rosa papasok ngayon para sa kopanan ng team Sakuru para kay Malu, and uh, that will end the day for the striker in white, Jay Avellana. I think that that would be that would be a, a good. Uh, addition to any team, actually. Well, I mean, maybe maybe not Air Force with uh, Tats Mercado or or maybe even Leola with uh, Ref Quaresma. Maybe the lower ranked teams yeah. could deserve someone like this, or someone like Jay. Oh, maybe like Green Archers United. You never know. That's right. Right? Definitely. You could get a call up from there. Oh, and Avellana stopping it again. <laughs> right on cue. That's my boy. Ganda talaga pinapakita niya. Oh, oh, Zagi giving Error. it up. Oh, and uh, oh, it's just wasted. But you gotta, you know, you have to expect that Roy overlapping Shadon. He's not really a striker. He's not really a striker. So uh, he was surprised with that situation that he was able to to intercept that ball. Take a look at Avellana in top niya kanina. Kalmado, kalmado yun dating ni Jay Avellana ngayon. Confidence right now. And you could see it's affecting the rest of the soccer group players playing their best. Zerudo. Cleared out again. Hideo Muruoka with the clearance, and now it is with Zagi. Trip. They play the advantage. Rodriguez. Looked like he wanted it to be a through ball. It went behind him. Galinke Zagi. Frimpong has Andoni Santos drop pass and it's a shot and Avellana with the save Zagi getting possession oh great oh great pass but it's just too far ahead on that one two good intention good intention to go for that one two pass just a little too strong Keep her out. With 20 minutes to go in this game, kaya bang ipagpatuloy ng soccer ang kanila momentum within the, you know, again, we want to say it, you need to be a 90-minute football team. 